Hello and welcome. It's Free Workout Friday, everybody's favorite day of the week. And check it out, we are gonna express your way to fitness here with a 20 minute Free Workout Friday. Nikolai's here to set the pace for us. Let's start with our warm up here in four, three, two, one, and begin. We're doing a air squats to start things off. I'm Coach Paul behind the camera here to help keep you on track and motivated and feeling good. Nikolai's gonna set a great pace for us today. He's got 20 more seconds here of air squats and then he's gonna head into some squat benders here in about 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and squat benders please so back down to that squat now you're bending right at the waist touching the toes keeping that back straight warming up those back muscles excellent good job so free workout friday it's great to have you here with us if you like what you see hit the like button and consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the fabulous content we have here at pro kettlebell Three, two, one. Time for some standing folding star, please, Nikolai. Good, reaching up toward the stars and then fold them into your pocket. There you go. <laughs> this is the origins of folding star. I don't know. I mean, you know, I write my own material, okay? So, <laughs> folding star. Catch a folding star, falling star, put it in your pocket. Yeah, something like that, something like that. It's not a falling star, it's a folding star. Three, two, one, alternating hip circles. So check this out. Nikolai's gonna work around to the front. He's gonna work his way around to the back. So you're basically working 180 degrees. Do everything you can to push those hip bones out to the side there. And we're creating some space in the hips so we can get a really valuable workout here with our range of motion and preparation for all these exercises. All right, three, two one here we go high knees please so weight is there up on the toes and we're slowly accelerating the heart rate picking up our respiration rate too that body's going to get literally warmed up and ready for our free workout friday 20 minute express to fitness we got 10 more seconds and nikolai's going to turn this into a butt kick in seven six five four three two one and butt kicks good so the heels are coming up to toward the bum if you like you can put your hands behind your back there like Nikolai's doing and it will give you a target to aim for to get those legs up feeling that stretch on the front of the quad there 15 more seconds to go our next warm-up exercise is going to be a walkout push-up seven six five four three two, one. Nikolai's going to fold at the waist, reach his hands to the deck there, and just walk your hands out front. You can lay in a push-up there. You can stay in a tall plank position too if push-ups are not your thing, and just push yourself back. This is a way to get the hamstrings, the glutes, the low back, the chest and shoulders warmed up and ready for action here. Good job, Nikolai. We got about 10 more seconds here, and then squat jacks will round out our warm-up here. Three, two, one one and squat jacks so Nikolai's down into a squat position pop up and touch your hand toward the floor we got 20 more seconds to go in the warm-up panel here and we'll get to work with this 20 minute free workout Friday thank you for joining us today you got 10 more seconds to go seven six five four three two one and time all right how you feeling nikolai feeling ready to go all right how could you possibly pass this up this is like i have it on good authority that these are some of nikolai's most favorite workouts most favorite exercises and consequently his most favorite workout so he's going to do a two hand swing here for 30 seconds and uh nikolai's got a nice wide stance hands on top of the handle hike that bell back and then work the momentum of that bell as you give it a ride on the way up we we're going to pair this with plyo push-ups. So kickstand that kettlebell over so the handle's in front of you. That'll help keep it stable. Lower yourself down into a push-up and then drive yourself up quickly over to the other side. 
So you can do this exercise from your knees too if you're not feeling confident about your ability to push off and you're gonna work transfer slowly one side to the other. Wanna make sure that that shoulder is directly over the arm as you do that exercise. All right, thanks Nikolai, great demonstration here. Here we go, two hand swings. This will be 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, times three rounds. So we're looking at six, six exercises here. Here we go, three, two, one, two hand swing please. Let's go. There we go. Nikolai's using anatomical match breathing. I invite you to as well. It's a way to efficiently work that bell, breathing out on the downswing and in on the up. It's all that means. So your anatomy is dictating the cycle of your breathing here. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, plyo push-ups are next. Bell goes to the ground, handle forward. Make sure it's solidly on the ground. And four, three, two, one. Here we go. And down and up. And down and up. Good job. Establish yourself in that position and pop yourself up as quickly as you can. There you go. Excellent. Keep driving here. 15 seconds to go. This is great for building the chest muscles, supporting shoulder muscles the triceps, great overall upper body exercise. Three, two, one, and time. All right, one round is complete. Looking good. We're getting ready for our second set of two hand swings here. If you have a light, medium, and heavy bell, maybe you grab your medium bell right now. Three, two, one, and begin. Good job. Or if you've got two bells at home, maybe you're gonna grab your heavier one in that last set. You can give yourself a challenge to dial it up or dial it down, depending on where you're at today. We are glad you are here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. There you go, Nikolai, nice job. All right, let's get ready for those plyo push-ups. Round two, shake those shoulders out. If you've got chalk in your living room, you should grab some chalk right now. Three, two, one, let's go. Get out and up, there you go. Chalk is always handy to have in your workout area, your workout space. Appreciate you taking the time here to get your workout in and take a positive action for your health and fitness goals. We got 10 more seconds to go here, Nikolai. Here we go, we got this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Beautiful, way to bang them out. Got a little quick rest up here. Popped up nice and fast there. Give a chance for that heart rate to, to come down just a little bit before we hit those last set of two hand swings in three, two, one, here we go. There you go. Keep up at home, come on now. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Counterbalance your body weight with the weight of that bell. 10 seconds to go, please. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Fantastic, good job. All right, plyo push-ups. Last set of plyo push-ups. Three, two, one, begin, let's go. There you go, nice job. Drive off the floor with that hand that is on the deck and you're supporting yourself with the hand on the kettlebell. So really push through the floor on the hand that's lower. That'll help drive you across, get you off the floor, into the air and across to the other side. Great work, good job. Three, two, one, time. High five, nice job, way to go. All right, grab a quick drink of water, towel off if you need to, and let's get ready for panel number two. And what we got going here is the goblet toss thruster. 
high pull left and high pull right. There's no rest in this one at all, right? This is an express workout. So 30 seconds for each one of these. The goblet, toss, thruster. You're going to swing the bell up with one hand to the chest, lower yourself down into a squat, and then press the bell up. And then you're going to switch hands on the second swing, bring it up to the chest, back down into your squat, and drive the bell up. So you're alternating hands as the bell comes down through the rack position and right between the legs. Thanks, Nikolai. And our next exercise is going to be a high pull left and a high pull right. So high pull left, you're swinging that bell and moving that bell horizontally as you bring it up into the top part of the swing, elbows flared out. Good. And then for the other exercise, we'll do a high pull right. Great. So we're alternating between those three moves for two rounds. So this is six times straight through. There's no rest here. So let's get ready to rumble here. You ready to go? Here we go. Three. Huh? What's that? Three minutes through. Oh yeah, three minutes through. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, begin. There we go. Excellent. And over to the left hand rack position. Squat, let the bell take you down. Commit to that squat. That's where the benefits are. We're still staying in our pain-free range of motion. Weight might feel a little bit like it's back on the heels, just a little bit. Feel that full foot through the floor. And press that bell all the way up as you come in out of that squat. Three, two, one. Here we go with a high pull. High pull left. High pull left. This is 30 seconds of work. High pull left. Good job. Fifteen seconds. Way to keep that bell moving, Nikolai. Nice job. Breathe out on the down. In on the up. Three, two, one. And let's switch it up here. Now we're going high pull right. There you go. Nice work. Push through the floor with that opposite foot. That will really help get that bell up in the air. Float it a little bit. You can get a nice safe pull at the very top of the movement. Coming up on the halfway point. Looking good, Nikolai. Keep it up. Looking good at home. Come on now. Five, four, three, two, one. Goblet toss thruster. Swing that bell right into that goblet position and press the bell up. Switching hands alternately, left hand down with the swing, drive into the squat, press that bell up. Good. Extension of the arms up there. Nice lockout position at the top. Getting those arms as straight as we can up there. There we go. Reach for the ceiling. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. High pull left. We're in our final minute here of this panel. Looking good. Short, intense, effective workout. Keep it up. Commit yourself to this. Commit yourself to this set. You got 10 more seconds on this side, and then we're switching over to the right side with the high pull. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go to the right. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Digging in. Nice job. There you go. Great job. We got a little bonus time on this side here. 15 seconds to go, Nikolai. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Oh, high five or low five. Yeah, there you go. Give those shoulders a little rest there. Grab a quick drink of water there, Nikolai, and get a quick sip at home as we head into our last panel of the day. This is the split lunge jumps. We're going to do this as a three minute AMRAP. So three minutes is the time you're going to commit yourself to. And you're going to do these three exercises. It's a five, four, three sequence. So Nikolai's going to do five split lunge jumps. And it'll be five each side. So there's one on the left, one on the right. That's one, 
that's two and so forth. So he's essentially gonna do 10 of those split lunge jumps, as are you. Next up is sit up, get up times four. So with the sit up, get up, you're gonna grab your kettlebell, you're gonna park that at your chest, and Nikolai's gonna come on up into a sit up and press the bell up. So sit up, get up times four, and then he's gonna get up into a plank position and perform shoulder touch plus three push-ups. So three shoulder touches and three push-ups. So here we go with the touch. There's one, there's two, there's three, and here's three's push-ups. There you go, that's it. That's what it looks like. One, one, two, two, three, three. Oh yeah. All right, three minutes to the finish line. This is like one and a half times around the track. You got it in you? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I know you got it in you at home. So let's get this done, let's get this done. Split lunge jumps, five per side, five, four, three, two, one, begin, let's go. All right, sit up, get up is the second exercise in this short and challenging AMRAP, good job. There we go, nice work. Looking good, looking for four, looking for four. All right, shoulder touch and push up. One, one, two, two, three, three. All right, back up to the top. Split lunge jumps. You can change your orientation around the room, keep it interesting. Get those 10 split lunge jumps in, five per side. We're coming up on our final minute here. You're gonna have to dig in to get this done. Let's go, let's go. Four sit up get ups here. There's one, and two. Good job. Looking good there. You got 45 seconds to go. You got 45 seconds to go. Lay into it a little bit, let's go. Get those shoulder touches in and those push-ups that you love. All right, split lunge jump, sit up, get up, push-ups. We got 30 seconds to go. How many reps can you get? How many rounds can you get? You started that round, let's finish that round. 22 seconds left. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, eight seven six five four three two one and time Woo! high five there way to push yourself up there thank you very much nikolai for giving us a great pace setting let's begin our cool down here great job at home way to stick with it that's a tough short little round there so for, to get started off here, we're gonna reach for the ceiling, gonna bend at the waist, and then reach for, toward the floor. Good, feel that nice stretch on the low back, back of the legs. We got 10 more seconds in this position. Next, we'll go to the floor and do a figure four stretch in three, two, one, and to the deck. Figure four, cross that right ankle over the left knee, reach through the legs, pull on the front part of the kneecap there. You can grab the back of the kneecaps too. That's perfectly fine. You should get that nice stretch in the hip capsule there. Four, three, two, and one. Let's switch sides, please. Five, four, three, two, one, and transition to a hip flexor stretch. So we're coming up into a lunge position. Left knee forward, right knee back. Tall torso, and you can reach with the trailing leg side arm. And if you like, you can thread that arm through and willow over to the side and get a really nice stretch on the lats on that trailing leg side. Six, five, Four, three, two, 
one and transition over. Tuck that tailbone under, squeeze the glute forward. You'll feel that stretch right in front of the leg there. Raise that arm up, pull to the other side. Five, four, three, two, one, and Scorpion is next. Onto the floor, extend that left arm, arch to the side. The right leg goes back toward the left hand. We are opening up the chest muscles here, the shoulders, a little stretch on the front of the hip and the low back. Four, three, two, one, and other side, please. Three, two, one, back to neutral, press up into Cobra. So press the hips, hands are right near the armpits there. Press yourself up into the, toward the ceiling. Press your hips into the floor. Mindful you're not putting too much stress on the low back. 10 more seconds here. Six, five, four, three, two, one and press back to child's pose, please. Bum to heels, reach those arms out front, lengthening those lat muscles. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and done great job high five please thanks for joining us here pro kettlebell free workout friday thanks nikolai for setting the great pace i'm coach paul and looking forward to seeing you here again in the very very near future have a great day so long everyone